Well, General Sinek Carter is expected to say that the UK would struggle to keep up with Russia's growing military strength. Our political editor, Ranveer Singh, is at Ministry of Defence. Ranveer, pretty shocking headlines today coming from the head of the British Army, basically implying that due to all the cutbacks now in our armed forces, that we're not really prepared for an attack from Russia, should it come. Yeah, and there are many people in the Tory party who are very upset and very worried about what is happening to the defence budget. There was an urgent question, actually, uh, in the Commons fought about over these rumours that 14,000 service personnel, nine warships, 100 helicopters could be cut. One of the arguments for cutting, perhaps, is that you know, cyber warfare is becoming increasingly a menacing threat to national security and that terrorism is tackled through intelligence gathering, not necessarily military hardware. But, as you say, General Sinek Carter, uh, Chief of the General Staff, will say that Vladimir Putin's aggressive modernization of Russian forces means that the Kremlin is already uh, has capabilities on the battlefield that the UK would struggle to match. Uh, he's going to say that we cannot afford to sit back, that uh, the time is now uh, to deal with that threat and that the threat is actually on Europe's doorstep. Well, Gavin Williamson, the Defence Secretary, is going to be glad to hear those words because uh, he's in, locked in a battle with the Treasury. He wants £2 billion more for the defence budget. Budget. And there have been regularly warnings from military chiefs who have said the army is 20 years behind where it should be and that any cut on those 82,000 soldiers that we currently have would be nothing less than a disaster. All right. Ranveer, thanks very much.